first, uh, let me start off by saying good morning, good noonin, and good evening to you. I know most of you are probably wondering either why are we looking at these specific Twisbees or why has this taken you so long? But if you have a keen eye, you will be wondering, like me, why is there still ink residue after my thorough well, thorough cleaning of the pen? So bonus points if uh, that was the question you had. Uh, and if that was not the question you had, well, c'est la vie. As it should be obvious, uh, this is tea time, or what I'm going to call behind the nib. I got it from some reliable sources in reference to the inspiration of the Twisby we'll be looking at today, which is the Royal Jade. And I know you're thinking, what reliable sources? Well, okay, so these are my reliable resources where I get my information from. Um, these are my homemade Twisbees uh, that I customized myself. They tell me the secrets. They tell me the history, the ancestry, the inspiration when Twisby comes out with these colors. These are the four pins that give me the T. And that's what I'm going to leave it at. You have to trust me. So now that you have the proof of who I've been speaking to, let's go ahead and crack open this pen. They have it thoroughly sealed to keep it nice and fresh. Um, is a very sturdy box, which makes me think of other boxes that kind of come like this, where it is snugly Oh, so snugly in here. There we go. Had a cut scene there because that took forever. Um, as usual, the mastructions and bonus mastructions. But we're not looking for that. We're looking for the pin itself. I don't know what this hole is for. Um, first impressions like the packaging love how it looks however seriously disappointed as far as the ink color being the midnight blue it seems as in all their special edition pens this is the color that they include except in the tra they actually did have another ink and i have that pen to the side hold on i did specifically make this order because i did get a second TRA specifically so I could have a backup pin number one and then number two I couldn't find my packaging for it more instructions but the TRA came with a different ink I want to say this is a pilot ink I haven't checked but yeah which is a different blue and I actually really really love this blue um, it's very intense, but I think for it to be a Royal Jade, it would be really nice if they came with a Royal Green or a Jade Green or something that would be possibly limited edition or maybe even just their Prairie Green that they have. I'm actually not going to take the ink out because I think now this is my third bottle of that midnight blue as the midnight blue also came with the uh, golden horse and the uh, mustard yellow was the same ink in those two boxes so pretty much the same packaging as those two boxes as well and the um, golden horse came you know pretty much same size same packaging if anyone's curious on that but back to the pin. This is what we're dealing with. It says Royal Jade, but this is just giving me 
true green vibes, like a true green. I did want to have it so I can compare it to the other ones. Um, as you can tell, it is a solid finish. I don't know that I'm doing it justice here. As we can see, the rose gold definitely does match the other rose golds. Um, and it is pretty much a deep version of the transparent green. So I would say almost this color would be if transparent green wasn't green, they would be in the same family. Let me hold this up against white because I feel like on camera it's not really doing it justice let me get a different angle all right not really a different angle but at least a bit more lighting to where you can actually see um, the color i'm going to hold it against something white so that way you can really see the green uh, it's giving me leprechaun vibes as well, uh, to be honest. Green and gold. Um, yeah, they. I, I would call this the Royal Irish um, versus the Royal Jade. I do know that Jade, the natural stone, does come in a bunch of different varieties. But if we wanted to look at it against the regular Jade, Uh, of course, the regular jade, I don't want to call it regular, but the plain jade or the original jade um, has that like milk glass see-through finish. It's going to look a little bit different because remember, this is an eco tea, uh, meaning that it does have those three sides uh, for that easier grip. I want to say they say for like beginner writers. So even next to the jade, it really is washing out the color on the camera. So I'm holding it against something white. So you can see that the jade still has some color in it. But since this green is so deep, it's looking more forest green on camera. But trust me when I say this is like, I'm going to call it leprechaun green because now it's going to be in my mind. So when I am comparing it, I also did want to look at it against the uh, oh, Eco T yellow green. For some reason, my mind is drawing a blank here. Um, I think they do complement each other. However, since this is the rose gold, it does have the uh, metal uh, finial, such as the traditional. Oh, that's the golden horse. Yeah, sorry, the traditional uh, rose gold pins. So definitely it's metal versus the plastic that comes on the regular Ecos and Eco Tees. Um, also, I thought it was very cool or very interesting. And I wish they would have done this uh, with the smoke and the white rose gold Eco. As you can see, the white and the smoke uh, Eco Rose Gold have the black plastic innards. Um, the Royal Eco T, it is a little bit heavier. And I mean, you know, heavier, you know, you're not going to like, you know, break a wrist or anything. Oh, notice, look, I cleaned these. See, that's water from me cleaning. I didn't procrastinate. Anyway, side note, I do love how they did have the... Um, rose gold innards such as they did with the diamonds as well as the uh, golden horse so i thought that was pretty cool and that did add to the royalness of the pen of course that nib should be rose gold as well perfect and this is my first time actually opening the pen as well so i'm experiencing this with y'all as well So as far as this pen, I think it is kind of interesting that they would come out with another green, a rose gold, and make a rose gold eco tea. So this is kind of the first of the eco tea line to have that rose gold, as well as a first eco, besides the golden horse as well, to carry on those golden innards. So I think that is really nice. Once again, 
love the pen just disappointed as far as the ink color uh, this should have been green or something limited edition as far as I'm concerned they could have sold the pen by itself I don't need a third or fourth midnight blue Twisby ink um, at this point in my life <laughs> uh, but uh, let's look at some other things so how deep does this royal jade go um, I went to my local uh, do-it-yourself store and acquired four of their green cards I didn't want to do like last time and take a massive amount but for the reason of science I did take four that I wanted to compare uh, these are bare uh, this is the color grassland which I think pairs well uh, keep in mind that on camera once again the green of the pen is not showing true it's like a rich green this green is called hills of ireland and our third green is paradise of greenery hopefully this is helping y'all pick up the green and the last one is picnic park um, which as you can see is clearly not a match but once again this is showing up more uh, forest green um, on camera but it it really is just you know think about an Irish green I think it's almost between these two if I had to pick but unfortunately they did not have a sample that I could find that matched this green exactly. So hopefully that helps uh, some of you if you are thinking about getting the pin, but kind of want to know what green it is. Take yourself on to your local do-it-yourself store, look for bear, grasslands, and that is very close. Once again, this I picked because this has almost the brightness um, of it but it's not showing up on camera so if you would combine these two colors you might get that green and then once again I'll put it closer to the transparent green against these as well so that way you can get to that color effect Okay. So for bonus, you thought we were done. We're not done. Because of course, like I said, I got the tea earlier from my do-it-yourself pens. And from what they said is that this pen and the box did remind me of another pen. I did want to look at the boxes in reference to what does it remind us of? This is uh, Golden Horse, the uh, Twisby Eco uh, Mustard, um, the Twisby Eco Rose Gold White, and the Smoke Rose Gold come in boxes like this. And then we have a fourth box. The reason why this took so long as well is my special order from Taiwan to get this pen that is no longer uh, for sale, or I couldn't find it at least online in my general market. Um, it has the same black kind of Twisby uh, packaging that the Eco and Eco T typically come in. But why is it black? If you have it, you know. Uh, this is my first time acquiring it. So, of course, I haven't opened it, so y'all will see it first as I see it first as well. If I can get it open. There we go. So, this is the Twisby Draco. I know it's kind of related but not really related um, it is part of the Twisby rose gold family um, so I thought it should be included uh, in this video 
It also has the rose gold nib, the finial, the end cap, This is voiceover Kenny Nep here. Bear with me in my silence as I'm actually experiencing this pen for the first time, so it's kind of very curious. Um, if you noticed me stroking the pen clip, it's cause it felt kind of thin and hollow for some reason. However, speculation is that the Twisby Draco is the great uncle of the Twisby Eco T Royal Jade from my sources. You heard it here first. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap up the T on the Twisby Eco T Royal Jade Rose Gold behind the nib. Behind the nib, I also learned that my light to dark balance was off, which is why you can't really see the color. However, when I correct the light and dark balance, you can actually see a more true representation of the green. So sorry I didn't notice that until the end of this video. So I will definitely try to put my hands in there back and forth as that does make a difference in what colors y'all can see. I wanted to lay out these three pins in reference to where this pin got its inspiration from. So as we can see, the uh, Twisby Golden Horse, just because it is that rose gold and they both are Ecos with that rose gold innards, of course, we need to bring up the Jade. If this is the Royal Jade, Jade has to be in it. Also, it is an eco tea. I know some of you may be thinking, oh, the yellow green would go better or the mint blue. However, I'm going to argue that that would not be correct. Since this is a rich green color, this blue more matches the pigment and the richness. Whereas the, let me grab them, mint blue and the yellow green do not uh, have that same rich, deep color. Uh, maybe you could argue with me that the yellow green does um, have it. I would say I could carry those three. Wouldn't be a bad combination. But once again, hopefully with my hands in here, it uh, makes all the difference in seeing that color. Good day and goodbye.